Hey, welcome everybody. It's KB here. So there is a OS called Revision OS, which is basically a recreation of Windows 11, or you can say a Windows 11 Lite version. So this is the official website for Revision OS. In short, it is called Revy OS. So you can see they say here Revy OS aspire to recreate what Windows as an operating system should have been easy and simple. And if you don't like Windows 11, there is a revision OS based on Windows 10 too. So if you are a Windows 10 user, you can also try revision OS based on Windows 10. So before we begin and compare revision OS and Windows 11, you need to understand a few things about this OS. So you may be thinking, what is this? Uh, this is basically a Windows OS, which is made by Microsoft, but this OS is a customized version of Windows, which is less bloated, more secure, and a light version of Windows made by some random dude. I don't know if you know about this or not, but actually there is a way to make customized version of Windows. You can deep load Windows before actually installing it. So basically you can also make a customized version of Windows by yourself okay so this is that so now let's begin the comparison so i have downloaded the windows 11 and Revy os and the first biggest difference between these two are the Revy os is actually only 3.5 gigabyte where the windows 11 is 5.1 gigabyte so you can see Revy OS is almost half the size of original Windows 11. So now I'm going to test whether you can install it on a unsupported PC or not. So let's begin. So here I am booting up the revision OS on a unsupported hardware. I'm actually using a virtual machine which has no TPM, no secure boot. Let's see if I can install this. So as you know, Windows 11 cannot be installed on a unsupported hardware. So let's see if the revision OS can be installed without doing any modification. You can actually install a Windows 11 uh, on a unsupported hardware if you do some modification or uh, if you make a bootable USB drive for unsupported hardware. So here is the setup. Actually, I think uh, revision OS skipped few setups. There is no install now button. There is no language choose option. So it's directly into the terms and condition. So I'm going to accept the terms and condition and I'm going to hit next. And yeah, yeah, it did skip uh, a few options that we used to get on Windows 11. So let's see how long it will take. Actually, it will take less than official Windows 11, obviously, because this OS has less files because it is small in the size compared to official Windows 11. So that's that. Okay, still no setups, no nothing. <laughs> I'm afraid that this is gonna take me straight to the desktop. Actually, no, <laughs> I need to do some setups, checking for update, that's a usual thing. So another great thing about this OS is that, yes, you will get a Windows updates, just like an official version. So only thing you need to understand here is that this is a customized version of Windows 11, which is less bloated, uh, which is going to be much faster than the original Windows 11. You know, Windows 11 actually comes with many pre-installed applications and, and whatnot. Okay, there is another good thing. You can create a local account instead of Microsoft account. Okay, impressed. So if you're someone who doesn't use Microsoft account and you want to use a local account, yeah, by default in Revision OS, you get the local account. So I'm going to put my name there hit next and password. I'm not going to put a password. Okay. I think it's going to take us to the desktop directly. So we actually don't have to do any settings. I think Yeah, this is very impressive. I have seen only two uh, setups options, one for the local account, one where you need to install. That's it. So many setups are actually gone from this. So I think this is truly a uh, lightweight version of Windows 11 and as I said if you don't like Windows 11 you want to use Windows 10 yeah there uh, there is a Windows 10 version of revision OS too yep as I said it's gonna take us to the desktop 
yeah <laughs> unbelievable okay here we are in full screen okay now let's check this out so you can see a lot of applications are gone okay there is no uh, ads there is no pre-installed applications there are only essential applications that we need on windows 11 so you can see and there is a brave browser by default some people like it some people don't i don't use the brave browser i'm gonna have to download a chrome browser i actually use chrome and edge browser i don't use brave browser but if you are someone who like brave browser uh, you can use so you can see this is completely de-bloated version of windows 11 yeah very impressive and the installation was also super fast because there were no settings at all we need to do so it just took us to the desktop and you can see cpu and memory usage is also very low uh, i think the task manager itself is using the most of the memory and most of the cpu actually so i can click on cpu and you can see task manager is the one that is actually using my cpu right now and there are no heavy processes going in the background Wow, it's very, very clean actually. I'm impressed. Okay. <laughs> so there are many things that has been removed from this OS, basically from Windows 11. So you can actually go to the Revy OS workspace. From here, we can bring back some of the things that are missing. By default, Windows Update is disabled. If you want to enable a Windows Update, you can download this reg editor which will enable the windows updates again if you want to get a windows updates so basically you can enable and disable some of the settings and some of the applications that you need so there is no microsoft edge in this os so if you want and you use microsoft edge you can also enable microsoft edge or you can just simply download microsoft edge actually microsoft edge is downloadable yeah <laughs> That's that. So I should have said this earlier, disclaimer time. First of all, this is a customized version of Windows operating system. So we don't know who customized it. We don't know what they have put inside. Maybe there is a bad guy who is making this that's gonna be bad. So use this OS at your own risk. But maybe there is a good guy who really wants a Windows OS which is lightweight, less bloated, and more secure. Maybe he's just trying to make a better version of Windows OS. If that's that, then yeah, it's okay to use this OS. To be honest, if you want my opinion, I really like this OS, okay? This is the best light version of Windows that I have ever seen, okay? I have also tried other light version of Windows OS, but this one is the best and truly the light version of Windows OS. And yes, you will need a Gen 1 key to activate this OS. This OS is still a Windows 11, but only customized to make it faster, better, stable, uh, less bloated, everything, whatever you count, okay? So this is that. That's it, I'm not gonna talk too much. If you wanna try this, uh, you can also try this on a virtual machine. That's what I did and uh, I'm impressed. That's all I wanna say, I don't wanna talk too much. Yeah, I'm truly impressed with this. That's it, I'm not gonna talk too much. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.